chaos, nothing. And I just saw some people who worked with Wonderflex and I had no idea how to work with it or what to do because there were no tutorials and also no really workshops. And um, yeah, well, so I uh, just experimented and then I thought, uh, it's, I think cosplay community is pretty open and we should really help each other. So I started making tutorials and yeah, video tutorials, but I did it basically because uh, there, were, uh, there were people who asked me, for example, uh, can you tell me how to work with Wonderflex? Yeah? And I got this message around uh, 30 times a day. Yes. So, or oh, what is Wonderflex? What is Wonderflex? What is Wonderflex? Yeah? And then I just made a video tutorial, just said, click to this video and shut up, let me alone. Yeah? And, <laughs> The, the thing came that, yeah, well, it, uh, people really liked it and, um, yeah, well, it was some kind of helpful. And now the cosplay community really changed. I mean, how many of you guys are on Facebook? Facebook? Very good, very good. And the good thing on Facebook is, yeah, well, you just search and follow the, the stuff of other cosplayers. You just can follow their work and also, well, maybe copy their work and just improve their work also. So you. You really can learn by somebody else, but somebody else learn, and that's also basically what I do. So you see, uh, for example, stuff like this. This was my very first Wonderflex stuff, and I really just yeah, experimented a little bit how the material works. Because I mean, when you when you when you work with uh, how many of you guys already yeah well worked with Wonderflex? Not so many. Wobbler? Do you guys know what Wobbler is? Yes, yeah, very good. Uh, how many guys work with uh, X24? This explosive, dangerous, crazy stuff. <laughs> yes, that's great. Yeah, but, uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty basically what I will uh, show you. I mean, I won't really talk about leather or uh, metal work or yeah, um, fiberglass because I just have no idea how this works because I just never tried it. But I really try to help you with my with my own thing. And I mean. Yeah, I always, uh, I always think that um, making making patterns is the most important part for armor making. I mean, uh, what I really want to do? Why are you here? I mean, what problems do you have? Uh, because I just, I don't want to talk for 1.5 hours about something uh, either you are not really interested. What are your plans? Why are you here? Raise your hand. Ask. Yes. Um, I'm sorry? To make live action roleplay armor. Ah, roleplay armor, okay. Other things? I've got World of Warcraft, roleplay stuff, like the armor class from the elite. Yeah. Andrew and Chief Warrior. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Which projects do you have? Yes? I need some tips and boots, of course. Boots, of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I will explain it. Okay, anything else? Yes. Uh, can you do some film um, armor detailing? I need to do some Dark Souls armor. Yes, okay, yeah. Okay, what do I want to know? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What else? What else? What else? Yes. How to make it flexible to moving so from like a floor body and do basically the half life to Gordon Freeman. Uh huh, okay. So I won't be able to still move around a bit. Okay, okay, it's all right. Not quite that much. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you put the lights on? No, no. I, I want to explain lights. You know, I want to explain lights in a workshop and then people stand up and laugh. <laughs> because it's just technical stuff and it looks super cool. Everything is glowing. Yeah, but it's complicated and people just go and say, Why oh, not? Thank you, workshop, but I hate the lights. <laughs> so, but I, I already made some electronic tutorials. So really yeah, anything else? Yeah, well, like I said, I don't want to bore you, I don't get to bore you. 
yeah, yeah. And yeah, well, um, like I said, I think the most important thing is when you make armor, um, yeah, making the patterns. And making the patterns means how big pull your armor, and I mean how big are the, the um, yeah the different pieces, and uh, for example, how are they shaped. And a very good way is what I also do is stuff like that. Yes. I, I always recommend the first start with with a new material, you know, work with uh, one of like slapper or warbler. Um, try to do something very small at first, so you get an idea, you uh, you get a feeling for the for the material. And a bracer is, for example, a pretty pretty good way, especially because yeah, well, um, you are also able very easy to to make patterns for yeah, well, for a bracer. As you can see, I just used some uh, kitchen foil, right, uh, painter's tape, and then I, I wrap uh, my, my arm into, with, the, with the kitchen foil, and then I cover it with the, with the painter's tape. And as you can see, I, I do it pretty thin, pretty tight, so I get a, an exact copy of the surface of my arm. And then at the end, I just, um, yeah, well, I paint a line on, I put the pattern on, and then cut it out, and then transform it directly to yeah, well, to the to the arm piece. Um, yeah, well, you, you don't really need to notice or to copy your stuff here or anything because Google come cosplay, they find everything you want to know. Again, and again, and again, yes. And yeah, for example, this was I think that was this piece what I meant. This was a basic thing. And just take it, look at it. It was it's super easy, yeah. And I mean, if you if you work over the time, you you find. Uh, really easy stuff like this, which is um, yeah, let me say logical, but there are other things which you just need to find out uh, over the time. And also think, oh my god, you're so dumb, you're so unbelievable dumb, why didn't you get the idea before? Because, for example, um, I work ma uh, basically with thermoplastic materials, and these thermoplastic materials you can heat up and then, um, then you shape it. For example, you, um, you make a bracer, then you transform it to this. To this uh, to this material, and then you put it on your arm, and yeah, well, you have to reheat it before, and then it, it gets almost as flexible as, let me say, as fabric, yeah. And then you put it on your arm, and yeah, well, then it gets cold slowly, and then it uh, it stays in the shape. So that's basically how this works, how you are able to to form it. And and if you if you made some mistakes or anything, you just reheat it again, and uh, then it's flexible. Flexible again, and yeah. Well, uh, over the time, I just yeah, I reheated that part on my arm and then waited, 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 waited until it's cold again. And then uh, this year, I thought, oh my god, this is dumb. Why don't you put your arm just under cold water so it gets cold? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. And it, it gets faster. Yeah, it's really faster to work if you if your stuff gets cold. And, yeah, well, I also made once, um, for example, some, 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 some leg armor, for example, um, what do we have it? Uh, yeah, these pieces, uh, these pieces, yeah, for example. I mean, um, all these pieces are, these are my, my sex boots, you see? And I also did it by this way, I mean, I just wrapped my, my foot into a, a, into a kitchen foil and paint on stay, um, painted it on, and also separated this pieces, so I just made, uh, yeah, I cut it a little bit more pieces out and then just uh, yeah, put this on my on my leg and heat it up and then put it everything together and I mean it took a little bit longer because you know, see I have three separate pieces for every leg and if I would wait the whole time it would took a little bit longer than just instantly get it cold and the cold water and it's something really you, you just have to learn and uh, some some things are just logical and some things are yeah well you have find it, uh, you need to find it out and I always say I mean if you if you make some uh, yeah if you follow tutorials and stuff if you follow the progress of others you don't need to experiment so much you just can follow their uh, their techniques and so um, yeah, well, just learn by them. Um, especially these materials are super expensive. Yeah, it, it looks like. Oh, where, 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 where,
pretty big plastic piece. And yeah, and you have to cut it at first. And but the stuff is very expensive. Yeah, a sheet of folder costs I think in Germany 60 euros or something like that. And so this material is super expensive. And you also um uh, it's just not too good if you take your know, what you say, oh I got a new material, uh, let's start with the biggest piece, uh, a breastplate. Yes, a breastplate, uh, surely it's quite easy piece. And uh, you experiment with that and then you uh, maybe uh, fail. For example, I made once a breastplate out of Wonderflex. Do you see this perfectly shaped breastplate with these uh, spiky nibble things there, yeah, it was, it was my first fail, yeah. And I basically worked with a double um, double layer of this material, uh, so I just, I just um, there is some craft foam inside and it's covered on both sides with this material, in this case with one effect. And yeah, well, so I had the, the twice, uh, the double, uh, yeah, the double area of this material, yeah, which I was able to throw away. Uh, because I experimented with the biggest thing, and I mean, you basically throw away uh, 30 or uh, 50 euros or something like that, yeah? And I mean, then I kept on working, this was fail number two. Yes. Fail number two, again, 50 euros, yeah! yeah. Okay, and then uh, there was uh, number three. Looks also shitty, but then I just like, come on, I don't have any money anymore. And, yeah, and then I have to, to yeah, to let go. And but that's that's really the thing. Yeah, people start with something big, with something complicated, and then they notice, oh crap, don't probably work. Bye bye, money. And especially if you already cut the stuff out, um, you you still are able to make maybe smaller pieces, maybe to cut this a little bit out and to make smaller pieces of, out of it, but not bigger pieces. So you don't need to throw away everything, but uh, yeah, well, it's a pretty much waste. And that's that's really the thing. So when I started with the with the material, like I said, it was my very first armor. I made stuff like this. It was just a bracer, uh, something very small. It, it got a little bit details and stuff, but it was pretty easy. To, yeah, to experiment, I mean, um, uh, it worked, but if it didn't work, then it wouldn't hurt, hurt too much if I throw it away. And, yeah, well, you see, um, this the stuff basically consists of very base pieces. For example, I can you show you a progress picture. This is the progress picture for them. Here we see, uh, like I showed you, um, I transformed the pattern uh, for this piece um, on craft form, and then I cut it, um, pieces of the material of Wonderflex, which are a little bit bigger than the craft form. Here you see this, this one, 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 twice of the craft form, and then I covered with both uh, on both sides the side of the craft form. And what you what you really need to do is just to take a hot air blower, um, um, uh, air dryer works also. But the air dryer is not as so hot like the hot air blower, and so you take a little bit longer to form it. So if you really want to make something bigger, better buy a hot air blower from Home Depot, and yeah, well, just experiment a little bit. And yeah, well, and you see, you also don't need any hot glue or something. You don't need any glue. You really need some scissors and a hot air blower because when you heat the stuff, stuff up, then it gets very sticky, yeah, and then. It's Loose together, also to to um, to the same material like well, water or Wonderflex, or they yeah, well, also to some, some plastics. For example, I had a problem when I experimented with my breastplate, like this very pretty one. I shaped it directly on this dress form, and I had no idea that the Wonderflex the material reacts also with plastic-like materials. And it was this. This is a fabric which had some plastic inside. So I heated this wonderful breastplate, yeah, pressed, pressed it on my, on my dress form, and then you can imagine what happened. It was glued on! <laughs> and the only, the only chance to get it off again was to reheat it again and drag it away, and then I had a wonderful shape. I mean, people, people also ask me, especially when it comes to breastplate, then how do I shape it? I, I really I really take the, the number three. I needed this 
and then I put it on my body. Yes. And it's, it's not like I reheat it to 90 degrees, 90 degrees, I reheat it to 80, 90 degrees. Yes. And it, was, it was super fun to put, to put this amazingly hot piece on your body. And then, oh my god, oh my god, it shall get cold, it shall get cold. And at this point, I had no idea that I can just go under the shower and it got cold. No, I waited until it got cold. And yeah, when I put it away, my, my, my husband looked at me. Hun, your body is a little bit hot and red. Is this normal? I said, no, it hurts. But everything for cosplay, you know? I mean, you surely know it. You cut yourself, you burn yourself, yeah, you scratch yourself, you, you sue through your fingers. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. What is your biggest scar? Come on. Challenge, challenge. What is your biggest scar? Yes. I I saw it through some plastic and embedded about two inches of plastic directly into my thigh as it came off at a funny angle. Oh. Oh. Okay, you stop with that. You stop with that. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I, I mean, you know, people really ask me, uh, uh, how are you so heat resistant? I mean, I'm not really heat resistant. I just burn all my nerves down or something like that. Yeah, but, but it's really, you get used to it, especially sometimes you're not able to avoid it. Normally, when, when you shave something like that, you can, yeah, you can uh, use dress form or other pieces, for example. I mean, when, when I make a breastplate, like uh, a breastplate, like, let me see, let me see, let me see, um, yeah, this one, yeah. This is, this is pretty, basically, the, the, yeah, the basic form, and this piece, this piece below there, this is the basic form of the breastplate. And I also just um, yeah, transform the patterns like I showed to you out of the you know pattern technique. And then I put it on the dress form and I just let it a little bit colder and then I still I still can shape it but it's not so so hot that it sticks to the to the dress form. That's what we just you really need to experiment, you really need to find out how to you know stuff like that. But it still works. And yeah, well, you guys also wanted to know how to make super sexy boob breastplates, like guys, right? The guys? Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys are pretty lucky. Yeah. As as a man, you you wouldn't have so many problems with these annoying things because you basically um, yeah. Well, what I did for my husband. For example, I had to make um, yeah also a breastplate, and then I just I just take um, a rubbish bag, yeah, and then put the rubbish bag over him, and then wrap them with painter's tape, and then I mean it's plastic and it, he sweats, and and then <laughs> it's funny because <laughs> he just suffered. And, honey, can you play make it faster? It's so hard. But I mean, I, I also still have to adjust some, some ornaments and stuff but because the, the, the armor has some details and stuff. So I just draw pretty slowly. <laughs> but yeah, but that's what you basically have to do. You just uh, take a plastic or rubbish bag, wrap yourself, and then uh, you just draw the patterns. And when you draw the patterns, you can orientate. Uh, it's a little bit like sewing. For example, if you sew a uh, um, um, uh, skirt, skirt, the, the, the top, yeah, you know, then you have uh, sewing lines here and here, for example, and you can also add sewing lines here and here, but it's pretty basically like patterns for fabrics. Um, and yeah, well, males, uh, male breastplates are pretty easy because you, uh, yeah, well, no, 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 you don't have these annoying things. But uh, when it comes to female breastplates, it can be pretty difficult, especially because of the booby bags, yeah? And, uh, yeah, and the booby bags can be a pretty big problem. Uh, but uh, last year I found out, uh, do, you, do you guys know the acrylic globes where you can make uh, this, this Christmas decoration ornament balls in the kindergarten, these acrylic globes? You know that? Yes, yes, but okay. Good. And then, yeah, well, you just heat the stuff up, yeah? You, um, you take a, a double layer of 
warbler in this case, and then you just take this, um, yeah, take the acrylic globe and then just drag over it. Because with this material, you're also able to mold stuff. You really can copy the surface of a, a different thing, and it's also very flexible. So you just drag it over it. I have a better picture of it somewhere. And um, you really just drag it over it, and then uh, there, there is the basic. And then you have you have these cups, and then you just need to reheat these pieces, the cups, and also the, the, the upper part of, of this lower thing, you know, and then just connect all together. The only thing is that uh, you just need to find your cup size. I mean, I go to the, to the um, crafting store, and then I take the acrylic globe. <laughs> <laughs> Because especially you, you sometimes won't find something small or something big, and then you have to cheat a little bit. Also, I mean, if you make a cool armor and stuff, the cosplay is always cheating, so cheating is super legal. I uh, wear um, two bras from Victoria's Secret the bombshell bra and the push up vest, but no socks! Yeah? No socks! Yeah. <laughs> What, what you can do, and um, so you just make uh, your, your, your booby bags, put the clothes, and then you just have to fill it. Filling can be difficult, but yeah, you can help with cheating. Yeah, but that's, yeah, basically how you can make press plates. Question: um, How do you make gemstones on the armor? Gemstones, gemstones. Uh, pretty easy. It is like um, this. It's, it's like um, if you ever made some molds or stuff like this, it's, uh, I had to make gemstones for Alex Russia, Alex Russia, the health naked costume, and you just make basically a uh, mold, uh, no, the, the basic form, the negatives out of um, super scope we are used in this, in this case, and then you just make copies with silicone and fill it and with resin, and you just need to find out how to make the stones pretty. These were pretty ugly because I uh, put too much color inside, and then at the end I just, yeah, like, I experimented with more or less color, uh, color. and then at the end I just, uh, this one, this one, this one, um, I just uh, painted a nail, nail polish at the back, directly at the back, and then, uh, yeah, and then, uh, Cover sealed the back with a uh, um, foil, foil, metallic foil, yeah, so Chinese. Yes. Question? Nothing? I don't see anything? Okay. Okay. Huh? No? Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, but, but you see, it's, uh, it's really not that big to make, to make armor, especially. Um, I think it's also a good thing, uh, well, let me see what would happen. Um, yeah, well, just to make, to apply details. It's, uh, yeah, it is, yeah. I think a big thing is applying details. You see, this is a, just a very basic thing, a bracer, uh, which I just go give you somewhere. I have no idea what it is. It is somewhere. Yeah, but, but you see really the huge difference. I mean, here it's just a basic thing, and here I didn't really make so much. I mean, here I added some some further layers of the material. Here I some some uh, uh, some um, scales, and you, know, you see it's not really that big. And for example, you're also able to really to sculpt with more. I think these are these are also some warbler pieces, which uh, which are yeah well I just uh, bring it form with my fingers because. When you heat this material, it's like a little bit uh, like a modeling clay, and you're just, you're just really able to build everything with this art. And details are a really big thing. I mean, you see, uh, here you really see the difference. And this is the, the breastplate I'm, I'm just wearing. And here you see, I made at first just the basic form of this armor, and then I covered it with painter's tape, and then um, draw all the details on. And yeah, well, then I transferred again to a craft form, covered these craft form pieces with, with warbler, and then I just added these lines. Yeah, these are just lines of warbler, and I mean, it's it's very super easy. It's a very easy way, but you can you can 
make really great details with it and you can very make easily you know, more and more details. And I think that's also really the, the difference. I mean, I see so many very simple armor pieces and they also look in some, some, some way a little bit boring. But you can also just improve the piece. I always think um, if, you, if you make um, a costume, you also don't need to think that you just copy the reference from a, a fictional source, from an anime or a manga or something like that. But you also need to think how would look this this um, this costume not just copied from the anime or manga, but how would it look real? Yeah. So and I mean, if, if somebody paints things uh, for anime, manga, video game, whatever, he's just limited. He's limited to the size. He's limited to the resolution of the game. He's limited to to the files of the texture and stuff. Um, so you really need to think how can look this uh, this costume look good also in real life, and that sometimes you just need to um, add even more details than your reference have. Because I mean, yeah, it just can look a little bit plain, a little bit boring at the end in real life. And, um, yeah, so so really think a little bit how also lift your character. For example, I mean, I made this this, uh, this costume for example, and my character is a warrior. And um, the, the real reference of this warrior looked a little bit, uh, yeah, that was it. Looked a little bit boring and a little bit, um, yeah, do we have it? There are my references for this costume. And yeah, it's, it's I mean, you can see, it's, it's still a good reference, uh, a good reference, but it also don't have so many details. And for example, I also, I also add blood and stuff. I also add dirt and everything and also covered my costume with, with acrylic paint of black and dirt because I just think, uh, yeah, if you make an armor, if you make a barbarian, for example, um, yeah, this barbarian just don't go to the shopping mall and say, oh, yeah, I can buy some new armor today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I go to the mall, oh, it looks so pretty today. Look, I'm a brand new armor. No, uh, if a barrier goes into the hell and smash everything down. No? <laughs> so, so then some demons explode a little bit around you and splash a little bit around you and make your stuff a little bit dirty. Not that bad. Yeah, well, for example, my, my husband uh, painted a big uh, part of this armor and he really spent yeah, weeks and yeah, uh, a lot of time for painting the stuff. Yeah. And then I, I just took some uh, black and white acrylic paint, dipped my fingers in, and then I started to paint everything. Yeah. And, then, and then he said, what are you doing? Stop! Stop! No! <laughs> yeah, but uh, that, was, uh, that was really basically the way I thought. I mean, see the armor now? And then see the armor? Do I have some, 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 some shoes? Then I said, uh, <coughs> no, I don't see. Yeah, well, uh, no, no, no. I also added here. Here you see some blood and everything. So everything you painted here, pretty nice, pretty clean, was just gone. It was red. But I mean, sometimes you really need to, yeah, well, to give some details and just think. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not just a character. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not I just. I don't just wear a costume, but I am the character. Yeah? I am the barbarian. Yeah? I am full of blood. Yeah? I'm angry. Yeah? I don't kill you all. Yeah, not you. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's that's really. I think that's really some passion, some addiction, and I also got some a lot of messages from people who say, um, "Yeah, well, come on." How can I do this? I mean, this material is super expensive, and it took so much time to make stuff like that. And yeah, well, how can I bring it to life if I just don't have any money, nothing, yeah? And how can I learn it? I don't have any talent, and I'm not able to paint and everything, yeah? But I think all you really need, uh, uh, everything you just need for a good costume is just, yeah, well, just the will, the passion, the love for your character, for the game, for the reference you have. I mean, um, when I made this, I, I was a student, I had pretty basically no money, I didn't go out, I didn't drink, I didn't go to the cinema, I didn't buy anything. I mean, uh, now I have a job, but I didn't buy uh, clothes for three years. Yeah, my friend said, oh, you have to stress on again, pretty dress. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I 
cosplay that it's uh, but cosplay means also not not to to, to yeah to suffer and you know to get some hurts and uh, waste your time for weird things. But cosplay is also um, yeah well to set priorities. Yeah, and I mean if you think. Uh, if you really want to do something, if you really need some money for it, you will find ways also to, we to work at the evening, to we uh, work at, at the weekend and everything, to get to get the money for the costume. And then, I mean, you surely know as, cost uh, as a cosplayer, it just uh, at some point you just stop sleeping, yeah, for one week or something before the convention, <laughs> just to get the costume ready. And then at the convention, oh my god, I made the card, I made the card, it's awesome, yeah. And then the money. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, well, it's really passion, and I always, I also, also say, you don't really need any talent, you don't need any skill, you don't need nothing for a costume, because you can just learn everything by, yeah, really by by following progress pictures and you know, following the work of others. For example, where do I have uh, that stuff? I mean, you you find a lot of stuff like that, and I I'm also not that good in painting, but I also really. I just experimented and kept on working and really tried it and tried it and tried it and got better. And you just need to know how it can, yeah, how how it works, how other people do it, just you can copy stuff. I also saw people who, who made um, the very first costume was, for example, this one. Yeah? They made as a very first costume a big armor just by following progress pictures of others. Yeah? And they really, they never suit anything, they never build anything, and then they just start with a big arm, oh, yeah, with bubbly, for example. So it's really possible. And you really just need the will to make something. Yeah. Any questions? Yes? How long did it take you to finish the arms? The Uh Four weeks or something like that? Four weeks? And yeah, I mean, when I when I met, uh, for example, this costume, this one, I also had no idea how to make this golden, this golden for example. But I really just experimented. I I built different different materials, and I really looked for tutorials how other people uh, people made, uh, yeah, um, yeah, <coughs> similar costumes like that, which which just have especially. These design pieces, and you really need. You can just search for other works, and yeah. Also, maybe ask people, other people, other cosplayers, how did you make this or that, or what did you bought this or that, and so. Um, yeah, you also need patience a little bit, and you also need time. I mean, uh, when I started with my very first armor, yeah, well, like this was this one, and I started half a year before. And I thought, yeah, half a year, it's, it's good, yeah, I will manage this. And, but it, at the end, I finished this costume at 5 a.m. in the morning before the convention, yeah? Then at 5 a.m. in the morning, I, this was 5 a.m. in the morning, finally done, yeah? All the fixing was done, my costume fell on my body, yeah? I was just, everything had to glue down, everything was super rushed. And, but I had it on my body, I was very happy, I got no sleep for one week. I have found everything in my car and was able to drive to the convention. And so, yeah, software year can also be pretty last time. And yeah, well, it's also pretty good if you if you just make a time shuttle or something like that. Yes. And um, when would you choose one of and when would you choose Warbler? Um. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. I just talked the whole time about Wonderflex and Warbler, right? Um. Wonderflex is this white stuff which I used for my very first armor. Warbler is the brown stuff, which I, for example, used uh, for for this armor. And uh, yeah, the, the stuff I I'm just wearing. And um, these are at the moment two pretty popular materials. They are both thermoplastic. This means you just you can heat both up. It, you don't need glue for both. You just need a scissor, hot glue gun, and yeah, I also need pretty much the same uh, techniques for both. Uh, the only thing is, um, Warbler is, uh, yeah, it's a little bit like a modeling clay in a sheet form. So you heat it up, and if you pull, if you drag, you can really drag it apart. And Wonderflex is a material which has um, a 